This is Alan Porter. He is a 55-year-old, 97-kilogram male with septic shock. He was placed on VA ECLS three days ago via the right femoral artery and vein. The cannula are in stable position without complications. He remains sedated and paralyzed. He is currently on Levofed, epinephrine, and vasopressin with plans to titrate and discontinue the drips as able to maintain a MAP greater than 65. His ventilator is PRVC with a tidal volume of 400, a PEEP of 12, a rate of 12, and 40% FiO2. His last ABG from the right radial A-line was pH 7.37, PCO2 43, PO2 80, base deficit 0, and a bicarb of 24. His heparin drip has been at 15 units per kilo per hour for the past 12 hours, and the coags have been within range. All of the other lab work has been unremarkable. He has had no urine output despite scheduled doses of Lasix. His family has been present at the bedside off and on. My pump is off. What? How did that happen? I don't know. Let me see if I can cut it back on. We're plugged into a red outlet. Let me see if I can get it to come back on. And it's not coming back on. Clamping off? Okay. Do I need to call someone? Yes, ma'am. We're going to need to get the doctor here. Okay. Pressure's dropping. The doctor's been notified. He's on his way. All right. Thank you. All right, I'm at 1,500 RPMs, taking my clamp off. Vitals are improving. Coming back up on my flow. We're at 3,600 RPMs. Blood pressure's returned to baseline. All right, I'm gonna change over my flow probe. All right, we're back at four liters. Vitals are stable. 